Hello, hello everybody, it's Web Prof Trough, and we're back again with a new video. This is we need to talk about Black Myth Wukong. People have been asking me to play it on stream, so let's see what it's all about. I know it's about Chinese mythology. All right, so uh, Black so I know. Myth Wukong just released this week, and uh, whoa boy, has it been a ride. Has it? came out swinging, already breaking Looks records, so reaching a peak concurrent God count damn. of 2.3. God damn! That's brother. That's a big number. Three million that's a lot of numbers. Steam, and in the process, Jesus. dethroning Dota 2, Lost Ark, Counter Strike, and Pow World, it now Damn. sits in second Wait. place for the highest. Pow World has an all-time peak of two million people playing there. What the hell? The current player count of all time behind Wait, only so many PUBG. People play P so uh, PUBG? yes, the game is what? very popular. And not only are there millions of people playing, most of them seem to really, really like it as okay, well. What's the... Steam user reviews are overwhelmingly God positive, damn. with a whopping 96% rating, which is quite... That is crazy good. For a new game? In 2024? You tell me this is not a buggy mess with low performance, uh, half the controls don't work, it doesn't crash any 20 minutes? Hi. To put it in perspective, of the top 20 Serious? most played games on Steam, there are only five other games that have a rating over 90%, those being That's crazy. Elden Ring, Pow World, Valheim, Baldur's Gate 3, and Terraria, and now Black Myth Damn. Wukong making it the sixth. Now, obviously, the game just came out, so there's a lot of positive Looks early dope. reviews, and this review score could change. Is that a rat person? Crazy. over time but man with the high concurrent player count and the high That's review rating the game is certainly this. off to a good start wow. and it's done this in spite of all the pre-release discourse around black myth wukong's have this development course? studio and their oddly specific restrictions for streamers who were given codes which included not discussing china feminism or covid yeah that went over super Wait, is there even chinese feminism is that a thing how could you discuss something that's not really a thing Covenant is just that one is a real country feminist propaganda. Oh, brother. Well, as you would expect, moon. but despite all of that, we have got the second most <laughs> hey, popular Steam game ever that stream. and overwhelmingly positive reviews. So yeah, yesterday, I spent the entire day playing Black Myth Wukong for I myself, mean, it looks good. I can tell you, I get it. This game is actually quite good, or to put it precisely, it's just plain old simple fun with good gameplay, it's relatively polished, and on top of that, it has no BS monetization. This is the, being the, like, rare try- Yeah, what the hell, no one did this year what a factor the of success in the games industry nowadays so <laughs> oh i want to tell you a bit God. about the game uh starting with a basic overview okay. and then let's my go is it single player impressions from what i've seen so far now if you didn't know black myth wukong is a fairly linear action adventure boss rush game that tells oh, the mythological so chinese tale of journey to the west you play yeah, as brother. the destined one traversing the land the wukong monkey that becomes god and then plays pranks on other gods i think that's roughly how it goes meeting intriguing characters and eliminating any foes in your path of which there are plenty combat amounts to alternating oh, combos of light and heavy attack it's a giant bear that did a drop elbow brother it looks awesome with stances, it looks mixing awesome. up your move set and potential, along with a range of Ayo. abilities that you unlock as you play. The first skill that you get is this Bogart. incredibly useful freeze that immobilizes any enemy, including bosses, for a few seconds, it letting you chip away their health. As for defense, it is mostly all about dodging, with perfectly hmm. timed evades being heavily rewarded. You eventually also unlock a parry in Red the form of the stone of form ability, giving you another defensive option, but nice. there is no blocking really you're just dodging all incoming attacks and then hey. beyond your base he didn't mention anything about the translation so i'm, I'm gonna assume the translation is good you're telling me they released a chinese game with a good english translation what the hell attacks and the handful of skills that you got there are the transformations White now initially Clan you Noble. can turn into this pole arm wielding human? wolf dishing out loads of fire damage like until the first human enemy health seen. or energy meter depletes and you transform back and then you mm. also have these spirits of rare enemies That's that cool. you capture that can be bound Bali to you Gu and summoned Wang. periodically these will have some sort of a passive effect increasing either offensive defensive oh, or cool. your utility along with this active ability where you temporarily for a brief second transform into the creature and do some specifically unique variety of attack for that spirit okay that's pretty dope i'm playing uh Wu -Wu -Wu the gacha game it has something similar pokemon gathering but i mean this single player that's a gacha game it's a lot different 
And with it's all of dope. these tools in place, what you're doing Adds is moving through. through these mostly linear environments, taking on groups of basic enemies and bosses, lots and lots of bosses. But before I go into further detail, let me tell you about the boss of today's video. Oh, today's God, video is sponsored sponsor? by Guild Wars. Yourself, you can use my link in the video description below. All right, Guild so at Wars. the top, I call this Doesn't a boss animal? rush game, and that's mainly alive? because there are Damn. bosses literally everywhere it seems you can't turn a corner yeah, without we'll stumbling a into another boss in this game there may very the well be as many bosses is that a flying golden baby as there are regular enemies that's probably not actually the case but honestly <laughs> it feels that way at times because you are just fighting bosses constantly now from what i've seen so far these have all been really cool looking with interesting Prince, mechanics and just generally sense. fun fights the difference Difficulty varies for the most Enemies part. I would so say it's on the cool. easier side as I have one shot most of the small and uh, medium bosses. But the larger, more major fights, uh, those kind of ramp the challenge up Werewolf. a little bit more. And those have taken me a few attempts in some instances. I think what I've liked... Bro, the fur was moving. It seemed like each of the fur had its own uh, model. That was crazy. What's the most about it, though, is just all of the variety. I think with one exception, I have not actually seen a repeated boss type. And even oh, the one... Oh, Souls players, close your eyes. Close your ears. Don't listen. It means that if you kill an enemy now, an enemy boss now, it's not going to come in like faith. 15 minutes, three of them as normal enemies. Repeat, I did see how a lot or that was different about at it the same well. time. Playing for about 10 yeah, hours yesterday, games, I have come, come on, across buddy. 25 Tiger of the Bank games, guard. 90 total. Damn, look at this, my brother. Bro, look at his leg muscles. Need that regime, brother. Bosses, and everyone that I've seen, once again, yeah, has been sage. unique. Unique not only in how they look, but also Yo. in their movesets. Also, he, does, he hasn't mentioned this, but seems like the arenas are kind of crazy. Each of the arenas has looked awesome so far. In their phases, their abilities, just everything about them. We've got 90 bosses in this game. By the way, did you see that? He he swung his spear at the ground and it left a trail in the sand. Move sets Look at in their bottom phases, left. their abilities, just Roll. everything about them. We've got 90 bosses That's in this insane. game. I've 25 of them so far. And it's, already yeah. I'm pretty impressed with what I Ew. have seen. So basically the gist... Was that little Thanos? The fuck is he doing? What, the, what happened, Thanos? Imbre Thanos. Most of the game is you're using this action combat. You're moving through what are mostly linear levels with branching sections, and it branches further and gets more what interconnected as you move from the first to second chapter. You're fighting basic enemies. You're collecting resources as well as items that are hidden in the environment, and you are constantly yeah. engaging in boss fights. Now, like in the manga. process of you doing all of this, mm. you're also going to be working on your character and power progression. Oh, there's link. a lot of this. Uh, for one, as you level up you gain sparks you can also seems like we're mostly using one weapon i don't think i've seen him change up the weapons so i guess it's kind of god of warish where you don't have a it's not elder english where you pick up like a thousand weapons and you can switch them up find these at certain points in the world and these are used to improve just about everything for your sparks. character what essentially amounts to oh, a skill tree is shit. broken up into six oh my god okay there's a there is a lot here <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it's only the staff further is the main subsections weapon. in many of them. First, there are the foundation abilities. These include your stamina, your martial arts, which is your basic combat, as well as your survival. Then there are oh. the three staff stances, smash, of smash pillar, and thrust. There are three spell schools, mysticism, alteration, and strand. And then there are your transformations. So in each of these categories are numerous improvements. Some of these categories have so over 100 stamina, different generation. individual improvements okay. that you can invest in and broadly speaking these will do things like granting a variety of passive boost yeah. allowing you to unlock new abilities and Seems combos dope. and just opening up your potential move sets adding more variety to the combat but Maximum then also enhancing HP, the stamina. things that you have as a baseline just chance. everything across the board is about making you stronger and then mostly what you're doing is deciding how and what you want to prioritize if you want to be more defensive if you want to be more offensive if you want to focus on stamina or health if you want to those are some wild headphones. What the boost hell? Boost your crit. If you want to focus on a specific school of, uh, basically those staff stances are like schools of combat of martial arts. Do you want to focus on one of them? Do you want to spread them out amongst the three stances? It's really up to you and the game lets you actually freely respect yeah, whenever you want. So you'll accumulate points, you'll spend them in a direction, but then you can freely and as many times as you want from what I can see, uh, respect and try out new builds as you keep playing. But that is just the spark system and the skill tree. There is a lot more 
more to progression and improvement. So as you move through the chapters, you also Crafting? unlock what are called relics that grant boost. Relics. Completing the very first chapter gives you the craving eyes. This has three options. What is that word? Or just the lore seems dope as hell. I've never really played too much Chinese game. I've read some of their manuals or whatever. But that's different. Just to pick so from, just the lore is going to be so different. Critical strike damage. There's also armor sets and weapon upgrades. Damn. You unlock these by defeating bosses and progressing through the story. Hell. They will cost materials and some currency to craft, and then you can equip them. And everything comes with its own unique perks. In fact, gear pieces can, can have individual masks. boost per piece of gear, oh. along with also having set bonus. Okay, I was not expecting that face. <laughs> and all of this will be for tailoring to different play styles or for enhancing certain abilities. There are okay. weapon upgrades that will come with their own bonus effects on top of the and they further the upgrades look. dealing good. more damage or adding more crits. There's other equipment, which includes these curios. Just think charms with their own unique effects. There's also a it's spot a for selecting the spirit of your choice from the ones that you've captured. These spirits can also be leveled up. If you have one that you really Earth like using, wolf. you can make it more powerful, make it cost less resource. And then there's another spot for what are called vessels. The one that I've unlocked thus far gives me like vessels. a fire debuff resistance. Fire the game also has mantle. a bunch of different consumables. You will craft hey, alcohol. Find these and they'll grant increased defenses resistances or offense like increasing your damage crit or whatever okay. you also have this healing ability that refills anytime you rest at a shrine it is called the gourd you start off with the yeah, okay yeah we know about these there's like pretty much all games nowadays have some sort of coconut wine version which coconut will heal wine. you for 33 percent of your health whenever you use it but then later on you find more like the lamb brew which heals you for a flat 20 percent but then an additional 25 percent heal over time and that seems these way can better be upgraded as what? you progress granting more uses That's or better healing person. and then there's also a slot within those for what are called soaks giving you additional benefits soaks? for whatever particular gourd that you're using so this can increase your resistances add damage reduction have you gain more health when you use it or make yeah it seems to be a lot of customization like a lot of customization like brother things like a certain spells free to cast for a duration they also make use of a key a system bear. where as you're progressing you'll come Why? across locked areas and then you will have to Blame find the keys bear. usually via defeating a boss to allow you to progress past that previously locked area okay, so that is the, the basic overview that's like it's the crazy. general gist of black myth wukong you move through these levels you fight basic enemies you collect stuff you fight bosses there are some branching paths there's a bit of exploration branching there are locked paths. gates which you have to find the keys through and that's how the game works that's, that's the cool. general kind of flow of the game i've seen so it compared to Neo. Linear. it reminds me a lot of god of war the only kind of souls like reference is the fact that there are shrines that sort of work like bonfires you can fast travel to them you do some of your progression and upgrading there and then also whenever you rest refilling your yeah, health the and your mana and your stamina it also respawns enemies but that's really the yeah. only souls like equivalent that the game has because the con i mean most games nowadays have like these linear single player games have a decent amount of souls like inspirations, which is good because I mean, that's that's a good mechanic to have. Makes game that fun. It's kind of just much more like a modern day action game, a yeah, la God of War, or again, I see Neo reference quite a lot, but I haven't played Neo yet. So, yeah, that's the over. It also does seem to have the stances of Neo. Neo has those stances. What system, about so. my thoughts? Well, I gotta say, just right baseline, I am quite impressed with the game so far, and I've only played it for a day. I can absolutely, though, see why it's doing so well. So, for starters, the production value is very, very high. Yeah. So, it looks fantastic looks visually. This is a gorgeous game. The first chapter alone oh, he's really a bug. hooked me traversing these winding he a bug? paths through this kind of darker heavily forested mountainside region that setting alone i love but it was Wang just made all the better with how good it looks just like everything about the visuals the lighting the effects the fidelity of it what all it's Wang a very pretty looking game and then also the enemy and character design i think is great from the destined one who you are playing destined to all one. of the enemies and bosses you encounter i just think they did a good job here uh they really delivered a, a kind of this interesting interesting presentation of these creatures from Chinese mythology. I mean, not only their look, but like the outfits they're wearing, the 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 stuff that you're wearing, your armor sets and weapons, just and all of the design to the characters and the setting. It's all really well done. I would say as well, along those same lines, it's just nice to get this sort of relatively novel setting and story. While we have seen a handful of successful games in Eastern settings in recent years, we get so few of them that really lean heavily. Yeah, there is so few of them that are actually like big budget and good.
like it's and usually there's if there are that there's usually a problem with translation there's a problem with something else that makes it annoying to play this seems Fully Good. into the mythological Ooh, and popular what is that? folklore of the region. And I love this. Like, everything about the developer's take yeah, on beard. the Journey to the West story is really neat to see in action. It's Red neat tight. to play through this world and see these mythological creatures and fight these yeah, bosses. Also, for how good everything looks, I was pretty impressed with the performance. I would say about 95% of the New game having good performance? Say it ain't so, brother. Say it ain't time, so. The game would run flawlessly for me at 144 <laughs> frames per second. 140 at a 2K frames. Resolution. Damn. Although I will add, there were a handful of moments oh. in my playthrough with substantial issues. There were a few oh, sections shit. as I was playing where I would see the frame rate drop from like 144 down to 20 all of a oh. sudden. Now, in those instances. Shit. Yeah, that's a big ass drop. This would last anywhere from like 10 to 15 seconds before oh, smoothing small, out though. again. I'm not sure if it was an issue with shaders or if the game was loading in new areas while I was running around. I have heard that there have been some potential conflicts and issues with Intel CPUs, so maybe that's what uh, was going on. Frankly, I don't know exactly, but again, Bogart. mostly at least 95, it's probably closer to 99 percentage mm -hmm. of the total playtime. It ran amazingly, flawlessly, so that's but pretty with good. those few noticeable exceptions. Oh, and also also, the whole thing is very polished. It's just crisp and clean no bugs, across no crashes. the board. The animations of the movie. He has not really mentioned the story at all. Movement, attacks, the spells, the enemies. There's all sorts of little flourishes, like how your character spins his staff or jumps over the terrain or moves in the environment. The environment when itself. The when he dodged, he left a copy of himself there. Lighting and the sounds. There's just like across the board, it, there's a high degree of polish and a real Think lack of, of jank sand. in this game. I couldn't Second believe just how well sand. it played and how good it looked and how polished everything was. It just feels like a very complete and well done game. And then finally, the combat. It's simple, but it's quite fun. Uh, boss variety, as I mentioned earlier, has been nice, even though I've That's only important. seen 25 of the 90 bosses. They've all been. There's 90 bosses. 90 different bosses. That is a lot. That is a hell of a lot. Holy shit. How long is this game? And varied and interesting encounters thus far. Oh, and while I think hell. the game might be a tad on the easier side overall, oh. I would say that there's still enough challenge to make most of the more challenging fights huh. feel satisfying. And even some of the basic encounters, like if you're not paying proper attention, you can quickly lose an, uh, lose an encounter and then find yourself resurrecting back at one of the shrines. And all that is well and good, but I really think the cherry on top here is that this is just a plain old no BS game. It's a single player title. By the way, single player games are dead, huh? Y'all remember that? <laughs> With roughly 25 to 50 hours of content, depending uh, on how completionist God. you want to be. I guess it's 25 for a straight, simple playthrough. But 50 that's a lot. if you're going to be collecting and picking up a lot of the side stuff. And it's got an upfront box decent. price, and that's all. There is no in-game store. There are no premium currencies, no FOMO microtransactions, and no battle passes. You just buy the game, you play. I would hope there is none of that shit in a fucking single player game. God damn it. Play the game, you enjoy Jesus. the game, and you stop when you're done. No predatory manipulation to try to squeeze more money out of you Thank along God. the way. And that coupled with everything else that I mentioned, with it being a great looking game, a cool and novel setting, good performance, and the fact that it's fun to play, and that it's all polished and feels like just a finished product, like I'm paying for something that <laughs> was fully realized and done when I got my hands on it. That is absolutely why the game is doing so insanely well. 2.3 million concurrent players. That's a lot. Only 200,000 overwhelmingly positive yeah. reviews with a 96% rating. That is crazy. Okay, now I think we got enough. I think I got enough from this video. Force gaming, dope ass video. I got. Okay, I'm interested. I'm hella interested in this game. Seems to be doing insanely well. Seems to be deserving of the insanely well performance. I definitely need to play this. First, need to finish out on ranking the DLC, which might take a while, and then we'll see. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all think. If you've played it, let me know what you think about the game. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Twitch. I'll be streaming some Elden Ring later on today. Check out the Discord for notifications. And have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.